Hey, welcome to another video. Just wanted to give a quick uh, overview of the assistive touch feature in iOS, and that has it's been present since iOS 6. Um, I've done some previous videos on it. Just wanted to show the updated uh, assistive touch for iOS 11, and this is uh, in beta 8 of iOS 11. So I'll go ahead and get started and show you what we have here. So as you can see, this is the uh, new multitasking pane that is in iOS 11, and uh, just to show you the version number that I'm on here. Okay, so this is iOS 11 beta 8, uh, build 15A, 5368A. So if you want to go into, uh, to get to this assistive touch, you would go into uh, general, under accessibility, and then look for assistive touch. Once you go in, you just turn it on, and you'll have this small square pop up. Now this can be moved anywhere around the screen, can be at the bottom, can be anywhere you want it to be. So, and this will be present anywhere you go, whether you're on the home screen or whether you're on your lock screen. Unfortunately, if I lock the screen, it'll end the recording, so don't want to do that. So you have a couple options when you hit this. Um, now another reason this is handy is uh, if you have a broken home button or if you have a broken lock button, um, it's a great option. So, but you can actually access the control center, you can access your notification pane. You can access you can access Siri. You can also uh, double click the home button to get to your multitasking. So that'll get to your multitasking pane. And then you have uh, some other options here. So um, the volume up and volume down. And the HUD shows right in the center of that, which is pretty nice. You can lock the screen rotation. And you'll see the lock up at the top right next to the time, the battery. Unlock the rotation. You can also rotate the screen, which is kind of nice if you uh, don't want to have to pick up your iPad and move it around. So you can see it'll uh, go all around here. 